Not only was it a big weekend for American space history, it was a big weekend for SpaceX's Elon Musk. Planning for years to be the first commercial company to launch astronauts into space, then finally making it happen. Our Eric Von Aiken got an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Musk, and he says there's more to come. Take a listen. Very much appreciate the, the support of the Space Coast and all the, the people in Florida um, that uh, have helped, helped us get here. And I think there's going to be uh, a lot of excitement, a lot more activity. Um, we're going to be obviously sending a lot of astronauts to the space station and hopefully the moon uh, and Mars uh, uh, for, for right here from the Space Coast. So I uh, just want to say uh, you know, thank you for your support and uh, look, look forward to many exciting things in the future. You know how much pain they've been through the last nine years. They didn't know what was next. Sure. It finally happened because of you. Well, it, it you know I think uh, there's uh, there's a lot of people to uh, uh, to thank for the progress here. Um, a lot of appreciation for the the, the, the current and the prior administration, uh, NASA and the current and, and former uh, president to, to get to this point. We're going to keep driving hard and, and uh, do more and more missions. I, I think uh, it's. it's just to give you a sense of, of scale here, uh, I think we're going to do um, more uh, payload uh, from from the Space Coast to orbit than uh, the, all other rockets combined this year, just uh, in, in sheer tonnage. From the Space Coast? Yeah, yeah, from, from, from Cape Canaveral, Cape Kennedy. And News 6's Eric Von Aiken joins us now from his own office. And Eric, uh, what else did, did he have to say? <laughs> Good morning, Candace. You know, it, that I, I think that was the big fact. W what he just said there about what's in store for the space coast. So, so if you can digest that a little bit, he said that per tonnage, per tonnage, he plans to launch more payloads, more rockets, more people, more stuff, more satellites from the space coast right here in Central Florida than anywhere else, all of his other ports combined. That includes Texas, that includes California. I think what he was saying there, the future is really, really bright for the Space Coast. This was a big deal. He also told me that the plan would be ten, uh, uh, every 10 days or so, send up a rocket from the Space Coast. Uh, that, that is a very ambitious schedule, but we've seen SpaceX ramp up. And again, if if, if this is coming from Elon Musk, considering what he did on Saturday, I think this is entirely believable. And speaking of Saturday, I loved your comparison that you that you talked about right after the launch. You said, you know, for the last nine years, you've been covering so many of these rocket launches. But at the end of the day, they were just fireworks. I mean, there was something about having two Americans on that rocket. I mean, what was that feeling like being there for the launch? Sure, and and everybody who was out there, I think Candace felt that as well. It was it was such a privilege, and I was talking about this last week when when I was chatting with you guys here on the nine a.m. We we are privileged to be there that close to bring everybody at home, and everybody watching, and everybody reading these pictures, and and you know this is our job, and because of that, NASA allows us to be there. There's only eighty people that NASA selected this time around because of the pandemic. And we, we got to be there. We got to feel the rumbling uh, rolling across the lagoon there. Um, you know, the shock waves from the rocket, it always takes a few seconds. Um, it's, it's most intense uh, where we are. Of course, if you're across the river and you're watching from Titusville, you still feel it. But, but you know, we, we, the car alarms always go, go off. It's the greatest thing. Um, one of the things that the NASA administrator, Jim Bridenstine, said on Friday on the, on the pre-launch press conference is that government always created the supply and government always created the demand. Well, that's different. That's why this is a new day for the Space Coast because we now have commercial industry creating supply and demand. So from what Elon Musk was saying and from what Jim Bridenstine was saying, the Space Coast should never be in the same position that it was in 2011 when the shuttle stopped flying and thousands of people in an instant that day lost their jobs. Yeah, I mean, and let's talk about, though, the future. I mean, on Saturday, I was out at the Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier, and you were talking about that rumble that you felt after. I mean, not only did we feel that, but there was this wave of American pride. I mean, when, when we saw that rocket go up, the entire coastline started chanting USA. I mean, it was, it gave me goosebumps that lasted all weekend long. <laughs> You know, Candace, there was a, there was a lot of uh, sadness and, and anger over the cancellation of the shuttle program because 
It, it was such a feat of American engineering, human engineering, engineering for, for all mankind. I mean, more than two million moving parts. Um, the fact that we could build this, uh, design it, and then fly this and, and do it for the most part successfully. And then we just threw it away, essentially. A lot of people had, had this, this opinion that, that we were wasting so much engineering. But here we are. We've done it again. You know, one guy has done it. And he's a bit of a slave driver. And, and I said this about Elon Musk. He's one of the most fascinating, fascinating people that I've ever met. I said that last week when we last talked. I, I still stand by that. He's doing calculations in his head as he's talking to me, as he's standing there talking to me. But he runs a tight ship. He's a bit of a tyrant. He gets the job done. Jim Bridenstine, the NASA administrator, said that every commitment that Elon Musk has made to me, he's followed through on. And he did it again. He, he's the guy at the top, but still, this was made, this rocket, this technology was made in Hawthorne, California. It was made here in the United States. We did it. He, he praised his 8,000 SpaceX workers, people who, who were sleeping on the factory floor sometimes to, to try and catch up and to make this happen. Dragon was a few years behind schedule, but still, that's because it was so complicated. We have to be so careful putting putting these two humans on board, the, the most precious cargo we've had on an American spaceship in nine years. So we had to get it right. And he did. And, and that's a testament to America. And everybody saw that. Everybody felt that. And of course, SpaceX is already gearing up. We have another launch on Wednesday, Starlink satellites. So, I mean, it just keeps on coming. It's, it's happening quickly. Like he said, the goal is... Every 10 days or so, a launch from the Space Coast. We're going to see it, I think. All right, Eric, great work out there all week long and leading up to it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. You too.